You're probably wondering why I'm outside and it is because the house that I live in is very dark and there's no lighting so this will do but um, I am officially back at school I got in last night sorry for the dog barking um, currently making some noodles and then I'm not really sure I got like I went grocery shopping I got a lot of packets and I need to unpack and clean up so probably gonna eat take a nap and then handle what I gotta do do what I gotta do I spent most of my day cleaning which was fine because my room looks so good and I just I love it but um I just got back from work so that was fun and Jesus is on my side because I need I need some income so that happened but two things first my boss gave me the wrong address so he called me at like he called me at like 5 30 and he was like do you know how to score basketball and I was like not really and he was like it's fine it's easy you'll learn it it's super fast blah 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 I was like okay whatever he was like can you come and I was like can I come and he was like yeah tonight can you work tonight and I was like yeah I guess and he was like okay I need you to be here at 6 45 I was like are you serious so then he was like I need you to meet me at this place and I was like okay I don't know where that is so send me the address he sent me the address that took it first of all it took me to a field in the middle of nowhere like we went and there was nothing there and then um I was like, this isn't, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. It was 6.45 when we got there. And then I called him and I was like, uh, this isn't the place. Like, you gave me the wrong address. He gave his phone to somebody and he got me there. So thank God for that. And then yesterday, before my flight, I hadn't eaten all day. Like, we had a super big breakfast. So breakfast was the last time I had eaten. And before I got on my flight, I was supposed to go get McDonald's because it was like my gate was here and McDonald's was here so I was like whatever so I went to McDonald's their machines were were not working they were out of everything like they did not have anything to serve they were like uh somebody tried to order like a fish sandwich or something they were like we don't have that somebody tried to have uh order a McFlurry they were like we don't have that so I just had coffee and fries and then they it was so chaotic because like their machines weren't working the people were like the employees were like trying to close up early and everything I was the last person to get on my flight because I was waiting for my food. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Thank you. Because that's the only way I made that flight. Like, it was ridiculous. And then once I was on the flight, because uh, it was a, we boarded at like eight. So it was like during the night. Um, they were like, okay, so we're gonna, there's always a time where like they dim the lights. So like all the lights are off. And then if you want a light on, you can have the, you can put on the reading light above you or whatever. So they were like, um, we're going to turn the lights off now. And then not even a minute and a half passed and the lights like flashed on and they were like, is there any medical personnel on board? And so I don't, it was like the row over, but one in front of me, I don't know what happened, but this lady like. I have no idea. I just saw her like she was like turned around and she was like her eyes were super big. But that was it. I have no idea what happened or anything. But thank God there was a paramedic on board. And then I saw her like after the flight and she seemed OK. So thank you, Jesus. I hope that everything works out and she's fine. But it was just it was crazy that it was crazy. But um, my tripod came in today, so I'm super excited. Hopefully I'm going to use it. Um, maybe not soon because I left my laptop charger at home. I don't who does that and if uh, my family saves me and decides to send it it'll get here in probably 10 days so at minimum I think it takes 10 days to get here so we'll see about that hopefully they send it I would rather wait and have it coming than be here stranded without I mean I'll, I'll live because I have my iPad and I have my phone so I'll just make it work and then if anything I can go and use the computers in the library at school but that was my day so um yeah I'm not really sure how to end this but uh if you didn't hate this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and always remember that subscribers are always welcome so until next time